is Kelly, and uh, today I want to share with you this um, junk journal that I've just completed and uh, uh, that I'm about to ship to my partner. Um, this is um, for a swap on the Facebook group, uh, which is um, a mini album swaps. And we're swapping a junk journal this time, and uh, my partner is Alicia, Dr Alicia Drake. And uh, so that's Alicia's journal, as you can see. I'm so sorry about my hands. I've just been doing some painting, and uh, oh, I'm still not. Um, I'm still. Do I'm still not done. I am. Uh, I am doing so many <laughs> projects at the time. So apologize for uh, the state of my hands. Anyway, so this is my junk journal for Alicia, and. Um, uh, I've covered, this is, um, I bind, I've bound it with my, uh, cinch, and I don't often, um, use my cinch, so I decided this time to, to do something with it, and the covers here are, um, chipboard or scraps of calendars, I'm not sure, um, I've covered them with, uh, wrapping paper, and then I have, um, I have used here uh, some um, modeling paste with a uh, stencil to, to make these um, things. And then um, I have uh, sprayed the whole thing, if I do this, you see, you can't see, with some um, glimmer mist, some uh, homemade glimmer mist, it's white. So you see, it's very um, shimmery. That's why I'm holding it like so, so you can see. Um, so this is a real junk journal. Everything that you see here is coming from my stash. Um, I haven't uh, bought anything uh, particular. I bought things while I was doing it, which I added here. Um, but uh, I, I didn't buy a particular paper stack or start a new paper stack. I used what was in my stash because that's the purpose of a junk journal. Here I've made a little charm for Elisha, and um, so I've added a lot of beads and dangles, um, trying to... Um, this is um, a flower, a wild orchid craft flower that I have, uh, on which I've threaded the, the beads on, and then I have, I don't know if you can tell, I've rolled the, the rest of the... the rest of the... I don't know what you call that in English thingy <laughs> and wrapped it on the on the um, on the charm added some um, laces here um, this frame is from a French uh, supplier I think it's Toga uh, vintage collection it's really a beautiful collection I, I keep um, mentioning it because I use a lot of the of their items from that collection here that handle I not sure where I got it from but it was there in my stash and uh, this is a hairband that I've used here and that I have looped into a, a, a nylon here at the back so that's what the journal looks like from the top and from the side and there you go. I've added some book corners here that I got from eBay. Here. And, uh, well, that's for the outside. So you open it with uh, the band here. And then here on the first page, I have used uh, some uh, old um, book page that I have coffee dyed here. And you can see the screw for the, for the, um, the handle. That is there. Um, here I've added some transparent uh, pattern paper. Uh, here I've uh, added those three um, file folders, separators. Yeah. And here I've used this paper throughout the journal for journaling. And um, this is from an, um, a notebook that I have uh, that I was that was given to me um, uh, by someone who had them uh, in quantity. So she shared some with me, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and I've uh, cut out some flowers, added them here, and added some sequins as well. So here, here, so space for journaling, because that's what junk journal is all about. I've added also some um, tabs and some pages here. This is some tilde paper leftovers that I had and that I uh, inked and put here. 
Um, what can I use to hold this? Um, <laughs> so here, this page here is used is um is from uh, the mini album that I made with the die cut with the view uh, once upon a time collection I had this sort of left over so I used it here here I, I've altered a paper clip and put it here to hold this little envelope that I made with a shopping bag and in this I have um, put some little tags that I found on um, on Google you know uh, printed them out on uh, some paper so that goes in here like so very simple drink journal, um, so lots of space for journaling. And here I have put um, a cork um, board uh, page. So um, I don't know about the thickness and if you can put um, um, pin things on, but uh, I thought it looked cute, so I added it here. Here I made a little pocket with it, some leftover paper and added these um, three tags from leftover papers as well. Oh, this all fits in here. I've cut out some uh, file folder shape to go into it. Here's another little pocket with two tags and more papers uh, left from my stash. Here, more journaling papers. Here, I've decorated it a bit. Here, uh, this is a manila folder left over. So I've put here. Um, I've made this pocket, and these are two tags that I had made with leftover papers um, some um, some time back, and I keep them in a, in a in a drawer here and add them to my junk journals. So here, here I have added one of my dominoes that I make with uh, um, clear resin, and this one says "Dream." Um, here to. Um, Piece of cardstock. Yeah, this is a page that I found at Staple. Like that. Added that here. More paper. Various papers from my stash. Uh, this butterfly I got from a workshop that I hosted. The demonstrator gave us that. This is another tilde paper from my stash. Um, here I've used this uh, old envelope that I have um, coffee dyed. And um, I've left it empty so uh, Alicia can stock what she wants in there. Here I've used this tag as a pocket and um, put this one in it. And the back is plain, just a little butterfly here. This is not a pocket, it's just glued and it says, um, do, do small things with great love. And that's by Mother Teresa. So um, here, uh, here I have stuck. I've glued this uh, envelope that was in my stash. I think you saw this because I think I did this in a in a, um in another one of my video. I demonstrated uh, the use of the of one of my die. And uh, here, this I had made um, for a challenge, and um, so I have them here. I have stuck this. In the envelope as it fits right. This is another piece of manila folder. Here on this page I've just inked this um, little dictionary page. It's from this little thing here that I found in a thrift store. Very old and old. And um, well, it's a dictionary actually. French and Latin. And I'm using the little the pages uh, of my junk journals. Because I do a lot of junk journals. And um, so here it serves as a pocket and it has two tags that go in here. So um, more journaling space. Here another pocket that I made and here I have gathered some flowers and some cord. I've left here and I've stamped. Believe with all your heart, imagine with all your mind and achieve with all your might. So I've tried to put some inspiration quotes as well. Two tags in here, and then um, the back is also um, got a pocket with two tags. Um, that's a um, spellbinding journey stability um, die, die set. Here, I've put this paper clip and a, um, a little tag under so that comes out. This doesn't, it's all glue, glued. This here, sorry. 
uh, files glued as well. And then this here is an envelope that opens up and in here I put some goodies left over from um, the junk journal from making this junk journal and here that's an another one of my um, buttons that I have uh, I have um, made from um, a tutorial um, that is um, uh, from uh, a lady on YouTube um, Here's her name, and uh, I will link up the tutorial to make these buttons with um, with leftover cereal boxes or stuff. And it's a great tutorial, really. Um, so I'll, I'll link it up in the description box below. Um, here, another one of my butterflies. Here on this page here, I have... Oh gosh, I have to clear this. I have to fix this, sorry Alicia, because I've just uh, finished this one, I just glued this, it's a um, doily um, die cut that I've just cut and glued here. This is an old piece of cardstock that uh, that was uh, remaining here, I've added a die, um, sorry, a tag, in which I've put some seam binding, this is papers from my stash, here's a little pocket and a little booklet. And then this is another leftover from my sash as well, from another mini or something. This is the last page and it says homemade with love. And the back page is like the first one with this uh, uh, coffee dyed comic um, strip. And this is the, the, the piece of the um, hair band that is uh, holding um, the, the band inside, keeping it from uh, going outside. So, um, this is uh, my journal to you, Alicia. I had a lot of fun making this for you, and I hope you will um, have a fun uh, using it as well. I have also made a box for it. Just hold on, I'll go get it. So, this is an altered um, iPad box here, and that's the cover. The bottom is going to be plain, and this I have altered with, uh, as you can see, some book uh, pages. Uh, that I have uh, inked and distressed uh, around and um, I've painted the box with some chalk paint and um, and then I have used some paper towel from um, from another swap on the uh, junk journal Facebook group it was a napkin swap that I did and these I'm so sorry ladies I'm not sure exactly uh, which kit this came from I think it's Fiona's but I'm not sure I think it's Fiona's yeah Fiona <laughs> okay, sorry if it's not you, Fiona, but uh, um, anyway, gorgeous uh, napkins that I've added here and that I have uh, used. So again, thank you um, to the ladies who did that napkin swap with me as well. And uh, it's uh, the beautiful box I, I came up with for Helicia's journal. So that's going to be fitted in the, in the bottom and this is going to be the cover. So, um, Alicia. These are your items, and they are coming your way soon. I hope you will like them. Um, thank you, ladies, for um, watching my video. I hope you liked it, and um, I'll see you around soon. Happy scrapping. Bye.